let me to the the studio part so first of all on the right side you can see the home summary it will show you the home summary on the left part we have divided the section first of all in the components and the uh, models in obstruction and the model for drawing the for marking the boundary of the site we will use the model tool we will go in model and select the flat roof for rcc and shed okay so first of all i will select the flat roof okay this is shed so first of all i will mark the half of the shed so i will zoom in okay so now there is one more tool which we call as the rotation tool so in in, the, in which we can rotate our model in proper degree let's like suppose we want to rotate this uh, angle toward 35 degree uh, left so what will i do i will click on the rotation and i will rotate it like this and then i will press tab for enter the how many degree i want to tell i want to rotate this so let's like suppose i want to rotate this uh, 45 degree toward the left so i will enter 45 and hit enter so now it is rotated toward left right so i will undo this now i have shown you how to draw the building by the help of the flat roof now after that we will there are so many obstruction on my building uh, these are the first of all the, these are the winds and these are the skylights so first of all we will draw the uh, cylindrical winds the shortcuts are same okay so for the cylinder we will go in obstruction and select the cylinder okay now i will uh, paint i will click on the center of the vents so i will click here and now i will pinch here and click like this so now i have marked my cylinder right now on the base height it is set the default 0. so let me give the actual height of this uh, vent which is 0. 0.6 meter and i will click on update okay now our the height of the vents is updated now the copy paste tool is also the same which we uh, control c and control v for copy paste and i will paste it here like this okay now the the i will repeat this i will press control c and control v and press r and press 10 so repeat till repeat tool is useful when the model is equidistant and it is repeating so many times okay so i will repeat it and paste it here like this now here our 10 vents are placed perfectly so last one is not perfect so i will select this and move this toward the perfect location now i will again control c and control v and repeat four times more so i will press r and four and i will paste it here okay now as you can see i have paste uh, i have uh, pasted uh, all the vents here so uh, earlier i have not given the properties of the shed also right now i have the shed height is uh, 1.5 meter so i will go in 2d by double two by pressing double two and 3d by double three i will go in 2d select the roof and give the first of all the base height base height of the shed is 10 meter and tilt is uh, 7 and azimuth azimuth is asking in which direction uh, my building is tilted so my building uh, is uh, tilted in toward east direction i will select the east direction and press the update let's see this in 3d now our shed perfectly made right so one minute okay so now our vents are made so let's move to the 2d part and now we will draw the skylights for skylight there is one more tool uh, introduced here uh, let me show you i will go in option i can either select rectangle or polygon for making this okay first of all let's select the polygon tool okay and i will select this polygon
okay and i will complete this and i will enter the uh, so in previous we have to enter the tilt of this skylight as same as the below shed and reduce the height as well to the minimum okay so we have reduced this two step only we need to do is turn or this flush type toggle and update it okay the flush type toggle when we turn on the flush type toggle the height will automatically reduce to 0.1 meter and the tilt is automatically taken from the below shed so let's say this in 3d that's how my skylight look like okay i will go in view and 2d now i will uh now i will copy uh, copy paste it control c and control v and r and 3 i will repeat it three times because fourth one is not that equidistant so i will paste it here okay now i will uh, draw this this skylight with the help of rectangle also go to build obstruction select the rectangle i will click here one point and i will stop it here now i can copy paste this control c control v wait i have not turned on on this plus type toggle here so i will update it and control c control v press r and 3 okay r and 3 and it's updated the last one wait it's extra let's delete it yeah now i will now move it here now the length is uh, extra here so i will stretch it like this now our skylight is also increased the length so for placing the panel the shortcut is remain the same the shortcut or the uh, steps is same we select the roof either we press the fill face button here or we press the f on my keyboard okay so the panel will be placed on this entire roof and will uh, ignore the obstruction so the panel is placed here right now for ch changing the panel and changing the table size changing the uh, module spacing changing the row spacing there is a sub array properties here when we press the fill face we can change the panel from here let's suppose i am changing to vari and vari 500 i will search the vari 500 and i will select the vari 550 and uh, you can change the table spacing you can change the row spacing from here and i will press update it now the dimension of the panel is uh, changed as per the vari and the panel will also be changed so let's raise for one minute now it is updated right so we want to mirror this because on the left side the same shed is there so i will select this ctrl c and ctrl v and press m for mirror and i will select the or i have to move this on the left side so i will select the left edge and mirror it adjacent to this like this okay i will go in 3d that's how my building look like right for making the RCC roof, I will go in view and 2D again. I will make a polygon. Just a second. I will make a polygon here. So now, as you can see, the building is little bit curvy. Okay. But I will click here. Now, there is a suggestion. Uh, uh, every time suggestion is coming, right? So we cannot draw a proper curvy shape. So we, I will click and hold the Alt key. Okay, by clicking and holding the Alt key, the suggestion of this software will turn off. Okay, now I will make a small point like this. Okay, now I have rotated this. Okay, I will move this page. I have click and hold the right click so I can move this image right. Now I will come here downward.
and complete press. Now I will enter the height of this RCC building. I will enter the height. This azimuth is for a building, not for the panel. So I will remain this as it is. I can either change the parapet height or the setback inside. Okay. I will click update it or I will give the parapet height of the 0.5 meter and hit update. The previous shortcut, I, uh, the, uh, the shortcut for the flat roof is same as uh, previous which is P. When I press the P, the flat roof tool is selected. Okay. Now I will press the panel here. Go in fill face setting because I want to change the azimuth of the panel. And then I go will go in the fill face setting. Okay, so I can uh, change the uh, panel selection from here. Okay, let's select the Tata. Okay, change it to the Tata, and I will change here. I can change the here. It the azimuth is for the panel, not for the roof. So I can change the azimuth. Right now, I will. I have to select proper south direction as per my building. So I will select 175 okay and table size up is 2 cross 1 and change my uh, orientation I will remain the as it is and the mount height I will change to the 0 0.5 and press the fill press. Now that's how my uh, panel look like in 2 cross 1 and in azimuth for pro proper south. So let's see this in 3D I will press double 3 on my keyboard okay that's how my structure look like okay now the, this time is to place the inverter here so i will go in 2d and i will go in component now right now the dc size is 350 so i will place the inverter as per my dc size okay so the, the, the string inverter i will add the sun grow 110 kilowatt three inverters one two and three and press complete and save this After saving the calculate generation toggle will enable. So I will calculate the generation. It will take maximum up to one minute. So I think So here the generation is calculated now so i will save this now so i have generation i have saved the generation now we didn't check the solar access on each module for solar access we go on this solar access tool and we refresh it so it will calculate uh, the solar access or we call that the shadow analysis for each of the module that we have placed and it will differentiate the solar uh, uh, shadow analysis with the help of the color so 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 can you see the graph so graph is from 0 0.7 to 0. Uh, 0 0.7 to 1 so basically higher the color of the panel will be like green the shadow so the shadow will be shadow uh, the, sh the panel will be shadow free so let's uh, can you see this 
RCC roof on the RCC roof, all the panels are in green color. So this is hundred percent shadow free. So red red one panels are not a hundred percent shadow free. Okay. So we will click on one panel. We will go to the array and we will save the design and we will click on the optimize. So this optimize tool will open. So we can smartly optimize this uh, left side uh, shared panels. So let's suppose the minimum solar access threshold is 66.7. So what is mean? The 66.7% shadow free panels are there, the average ratio. So let's change it to, that's uh, the customer is saying, uh, please, uh, the panel should be 90% 90 shadow free. So we will enter the 90 and hit enter. So automatically the red one panel will be the deleted or we can increase or decrease this slider also. If we decrease the slide, the sub array size will reduce and the solar access will be solar access issued will be get increased. Okay, so I will close here or I will go in this module also and save this. and optimize this and I will enter uh, here also the 90 and hit enter so red one is deleted so I will save this design again and calculate generation again here 